In the early part of the 20th century, Carnegie astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered that the universe is expanding. The rate of expansion is known as the Hubble constant and is a key ingredient in determining the age and size of the universe. Its precise value has been hotly debated for the past 80 years. Previous uncertainty about the Hubble constant ranged over a factor of two. But in 2001, a team of astronomers led by Carnegie scientist Wendy Friedman determined an expansion rate of 72 kilometers per second per megaparsec and also reduced the uncertainty to just 10 percent. Now that number is about to be decreased to 3 percent using NASA's space-based Spitzer telescope. Friedman is director of the observatories of the Carnegie Institution and will lead the effort. Included are Carnegie staff members Barry Madore and Eric Person and Carnegie Spitzer fellow Jane Rigby. This space telescope currently takes images of objects by detecting their heat or infrared energy. This portion of the electromagnetic spectrum has numerous advantages, especially when observing Cepheid variable stars. These so-called standard candles are used to determine distances to galaxies. Cepheids are extremely bright, pulsating stars. Their pulsation periods are directly related to their intrinsic luminosities. Roughly, the brighter the star, the longer the period of pulsation. Friedman and her colleagues will begin by refining the distance to the large Magellanic Cloud and then measure distances to galaxies in our local group. The local group, our galactic neighborhood, is comprised of some 40 galaxies. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.